Hi, my name is Aparna Shah and I lead the direct-to-consumer business at Equifax. Buying a home can be an exciting time. Today, I want to go over three tips for first-time home buyers. Number one, know how much you can afford. Most lenders follow a guideline known as the 2836 rule when it comes to deciding what size of mortgage to approve. What that means is that you can spend up to 28% of your gross monthly income. That's your annual pre-tax income divided by 12 on your mortgage payment, your property taxes, and homeowner's insurance premium. You can spend up to 36% of your gross monthly income on your total debt. That would be those housing costs I just mentioned, plus the monthly cost of any other debts you may have, like credit cards, student loans, and personal loans, and car loans. For example, if you and your spouse or partner earn $75,000 per year, your gross monthly income would be $6,250. Following the 2836 guideline, you'd be able to spend up to $1,750 on your mortgage payment, taxes, and homeowner's insurance, and up to $2,250 on your total debt obligations each month. Number two. Check your credit reports and scores. Know your credit history and your credit scores before you apply. Credit score requirements vary from lender to lender. However, for most conventional mortgages, home buyers need a minimum credit score of 620 for approval. Number three, pick the loan that's right for you. First time home buyer loans are available to borrowers who have never purchased a primary residence. They may also be available to borrowers who meet certain other requirements. Loans that commonly appeal to first time home buyers include government backed FHA, VA, and USDA loans, as well as down payment assistance programs. FHA loans may offer greater flexibility in credit score requirements. If you're a veteran, a VA loan may be a good choice for you. Or if funds are tight and you're looking to purchase a home in a rural area, then a USDA loan may be an option for you. Work with your lender to determine which type of loans are available and which work best for your situation. For more educational resources, visit equifax.com/learn. Thanks for watching.